to where people can go through and in each one of them lines it was about like I would say three people in each line so it wasn't necessarily like understaffed but like like once people was going in at first everything was good but like once people started like pushing through and I seen it was like three different occasions I seen like when I first came through a lot of people pushed in through like the metal detectors and then like some people went through like another gate and then some people lifted up another gate and you know it was only so many like I said it was only so many people versus hundreds of people I mean I know that they were scared so the staff could do nothing more than you know move out the way and run and just let those people in so that's how that part went and um, I'm gonna still ask some people and I'm gonna... hmm. okay let me see somebody said why did Travis let um, Drake perform knowing that what was going on so like I would say personally my point of view of what I seen going on and like how it like it spooked me I was like screaming like you know like help Travis Scott so like to me, I just felt like I wanted him to look and see what was going on. That's why I'm so hurt, and that's why I'm putting the blame on him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this is his fault. I'm not saying this happened because of him. I'm just saying it was his concert, bottom line. And people are hurt because they went to his concert. Yeah, the fans were crazy. But, you know, we just looked up to him, bottom line. Okay, um... The crowd and the chaos so when I first got there I got there early so it wasn't a lot of people there so like when Master P and like the pre-show was going on it was about probably I would say a good 5,000 people at the pre-stage so that wasn't that packed but like me and three of my friends we had like scooted our way through all the way to the front so we was like right there by the front by the stage so like whenever the concert started like let me see how like the crowd goes okay so when the crowd first goes before the music starts before anything happened everybody was cool you know it was a lot of space but once it started people got to run around you know doing the mosh pit people started to move we got closer 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 and closer to where like you were just like it was nowhere to go so I seen a lot of people asking that question, like, you know, why didn't you just get up and leave? Why did you, why, well, like, if you was, if you didn't feel right, why did you stay? Bottom line, it was nowhere to go. You could not get out. And the only reason why I was lucky enough to get out, because, like, we was, like, so stuck up on each other. And, like, I just literally started screaming, like, somebody help me, help me, help me, help me. And I'm sitting right there in the front. So I'm raising my hand up. And, you know, luckily it was, like, three people around me who was cool enough so they had to lift me up and the crowd had to push me over the over the barricade so I'm right there in front of the stage and I had just walked across around the stage and then that's when I went like by the porta potties and so that was you know it was a wake-up call like you know like this stuff is crazy and I'm gonna get back to like the performances and how you know I felt about that let me see um Okay, this is um another question. A lot of people said they seen on the news that people were getting injected by some type of like needle, and I seen people saying like it was like a fentanyl. Me personally, to be honest, when I was walking around the whole fest, I kid you not, everybody was smoking a blunt. I'm talking about loud weed. So you know, I'm looking around like you know, like I know it's not Cali, like. You know, like, how is this possible? You would think, like, you had a music party, you had a concert, like, you know, they would shut it down, and, you know, but, like I said, nobody really paid attention to it, but there was a lot of smoking, and I seen a lot of people drinking. But me, personally, I did not see, like, nobody taking, like, any, like, pills, or I didn't see nobody getting injected with anything. And um, another thing I told somebody was, like I said, it just... When you think about it, I know they said what they said, but it's not realistic. If you're in a crowd and you can't move, there's no way to go. There's nowhere to go. 
who has the space to walk around stabbing people with a needle? I can see like if one person was just standing by somebody and did it, okay, he did it, threw it down. Nobody didn't see nothing, but it was impossible somebody to be walking around stabbing people because there was nowhere to walk. You couldn't go anywhere. The only way you can get up out of there was if somebody, it was if you was close enough to a barricade to like the outer and somebody lift you up and pulled you up out of there. And I tell you, when I was taking the people and pulling them out, it took so much strength. They were stuck. It was like so hard to pull them out. And shout out to, I don't know his name, but it was this other dude. It was two other dudes. It was a Hispanic dude and another black dude who was with me, helping me. So shout out to them. And um, that's how that went about whatever was going around, going around saying a needle. And another thing I got to say, I was there. I witnessed it. I experienced it. I could not breathe. I was in the crowd. You cannot breathe. I almost suffocated myself. If I wasn't close to the front while massive people was performing and screamed out, I would have suffocated. I probably could have died. So I didn't take no drugs. Nobody got me with a needle. I was going to suffocate. That what was happening. It was hot. You could feel the cold air way up, but I mean, you couldn't feel it. You were, Everybody was really, really low. And it was really hot. And it was just, it was crazy. Okay, so, um, um, somebody said that Travis speak out. Yeah, I do see that. They said he spoke out about a couple of things, but I don't really know. I don't really care about none of that. Like, I don't care what he got to say. People died. And at the end of the day, I feel like people lost their life. He got his millions. He went back home and he living good. When people literally went home with no children, with family members who are dead, like, y'all can see, like, I'm not even Travis Scott, and, you know, I'm sure, you know, I'm not saying he's not traumatized or he don't feel bad, but, like, just what I seen, it was, like, it, it really shook me, and, like, somebody like me, I'm not a scary person, I don't get scary, I don't get scared easily, like, you know, life and death, like, I never feared it, it never really bothered me, but, like, at that concert, seeing all those innocent people pleading for help, dying, like, that really, like, it, like, broke my soul, like, deep inside of me. Like, I'm, like, 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 I'm not scared, but it's, like, I'm just petrified. Like, I'm scared of what I seen. It, it was nothing fun about it. But, um, I'm, I'm gonna get to everything. I'm gonna get to everything. And some people ask me how am I feeling today. I've been feeling okay. Like, I ain't gonna even lie. Like, the only thing I did today was got out the bed just to literally eat. And what else I did? Um, yeah, I just got out the bed literally just to eat. Like, truthfully, I haven't did nothing. Like, I, I just don't got the energy, like, to do nothing. I just put on a jacket and, you know, I just did, like, the very minimum today. Okay, so... Have the police contacted me? You know what? The police haven't contacted me, which honestly, I don't feel like there's no reason to contact me. You know, it wasn't like I seen somebody get shot. You know what I'm saying? It was just so many people I seen dying. But um, it was a lot of celebrities in my DMs. Like, I'm talking about real celebrities, and they was asking for my number. But, you know, like me, I'm not like, you know, I don't know you. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with none of that. So, it's unread. I don't want nothing to do with none of that. So, um. That's that. Okay. Um, somebody said, um, "Has I have I cleaned myself with sage? No, not yet. But you know, I am aware about that whole you know spirituality and stuff like that." Okay. Um, how did I feel during the show? Okay, so before the show, I went and I picked up two of my friends, and what was crazy is the whole time we was riding. I don't know why, but, like, I felt, like, really, like, ancients, like, anxious to where, like, we went to Whataburger and we had ate a burger, and it was, like, really hard for me to, like, swallow. Like, I couldn't even get the food down, and, like, I didn't even, like, understand why. It was nothing to be afraid of. Like, we didn't go there or nothing, but it was just something, like, you know, you feel like something's wrong, but you don't know something's wrong, so you don't expect it, so you don't think nothing's wrong. So I didn't really take it as nothing. I'm just thinking like, you know, like I'm just excited or something. So I did feel funny. Okay. Uh, let me see. Somebody said, um, 
about um being trapped in hell. So about that, I felt like, like I said, it was real hot. We were all shoved together. You couldn't move. You couldn't breathe. And you know, like if y'all ever seen like any movies or any any paintings of hell, you will know that you know you just look around. It's like a big mountain, and when you look in the pit, it's full of flames. It's real. It's real hot. And you just see like a lot of people around, like millions of people around, pleading and begging to get out. And that's exactly what happened. That was like hell. Like, I know it may not sound as scary, but if you were literally there, it was really scary. Like, you just, nah, like, it was scary. It felt like, you know, like I died into hell. Okay, so the VIP section, so. The V I the thing about the VIP section, the VIP section went from all the way to where the stage was and it went all the way back. So I would that was probably like a hundred yards. I would say probably like yeah, the size of like a football field. It was like a real narrow, skinny strip in between both of the crowds. And that was like the only space where like you were safe. You know, it was like a lot of room. Nobody was, you know. It wasn't a lot of people in there. It was like a couple of celebrities that, that we seen walk past. And it was like, you know, a lot of people with money because the VIP section started for like, I think a thousand plus. So, you know, the average person wouldn't have the money. You know, they was all just fancy. And it was rich people. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's how that happened. And, you know, when I started to pull people over, they got real mad. And they were just real aggravated. Like, why are we pulling people? And, you know, it hurt me because I was trying to explain, like, what was going on. I did end up going off on this woman who put her hands on a minor. She literally put her hands on a minor and she was probably like in her thirties. I was trying to help this like 14 year old dude. He was like Hispanic and like she literally started like beating him in his head like this, like get back, get back in that section trying to force him back. And I was like, you know, I went off like you tripping, like we dying over here. Like it's not what it looked like. Like it looked like it's going crazy. Like she, they was like, why you buy a ticket over there then? And I was like, you know, like it don't concern you. Like who cares? It's not your concert. It don't care like if you seen people sneaking into the like if this whole thing didn't happen and people random people were sneaking into the VIP section and I was in VIP, I wouldn't care. I bought my ticket. I'm in VIP. It don't matter to me. But like them people, they was like really mad. They didn't want nobody there. And looking back at it, I think they were scared that if too many people hopped over, they would be surrounded and it would be hard for them to breathe. So that's what happens with that. Um, let me see. Okay, about the deaths, the news said it was about eight people dead, and this is what's crazy. My parents came home, and I was talking to them, and one of them has a co-worker who was at the fest. Mind you, this is a, a grown, grown lady, you know what I'm saying? And she told my people the same thing I told everyone. This is what I seen with my own two eyes. This is the VIP section. It's like 100 yards long. I'm way in the back. At the end of the VIP session, way in the back. And I kid you not, just right there along, right over the gate that I was sitting on, you can look over, and it was like 10 people laid out, not moving. They tried to do CPR on a couple of them, but they couldn't do nothing. More people was rushing over, asking for help. They was moving on to the next, and I was just literally like just looking there, and they was like, like, like a blackish, bluish color, like gone, like. It was scary. So that's what happened with that. But um, oh look, but look, that was just right there. I kid you not. Through the whole VIP section, through the whole section. Anybody who was there who noticed, I know a, a lot of y'all people who was at the concert, y'all seen this. That VIP section was full of bodies. I said like a hundred bodies. I know what I seen. If I would have just seen eight people, oh yeah, I seen like, you know. A couple people, you know, laid out on the floor. You know, I think they passed out or either packed. That that thing was packed with people. I don't know where them bodies at. I don't know what they did with them people. But I know what I seen. I don't know if they was necessarily just, you know, they just fainted. And a lot of them people ended up getting out and getting help. But that's just what I seen in a VIP section. So imagine both sides of the crowd. Imagine all of those people who was in there who got swept underneath. Who they didn't even know was missing and to the end of the concert when they cleared everything out and those bodies just was laying there lifeless. So I do think 
most definitely more than eight people because I just seen I seen ten people alone next to me, blue dead wasn't getting up gone did CPR nothing happened dead that's what I seen. Okay. Um, and like like I said, the whole to me the whole and this is mind you this is my first concert I ever went to. And this is my first Astral concert I went to. And like I said, when I got there, the whole theme of it was like depth. Like the whole thing is like, come, you know, he told some people like, you know, like the people who didn't get in, like, like go crazy to get in. I don't know. I can't word it specifically, but like, you know, like basically everybody was encouraged to, if you didn't get a ticket, rush in there and go crazy. So a lot of people went crazy. But as far as like when we was inside of the stadium, it probably was a couple fights and like a couple of incidents, but like nobody went crazy. Like, like okay, when you was like inside of the crowd, it was very hard for you to even stand up. Like everybody was on your shoulder. People was pulling me back, trying to pull my hair, so I had to you know like put my hoodie on so they couldn't pull me down. And like everybody was just moving, trampling. Like luckily I had on my steel toe boots, so like when people were stepping on my feet, I couldn't feel it as much but like it was like so hard to stand up but like nobody was necessarily like just oh push push go crazy like everybody was literally everybody stand up so it was just like something was just like i don't know it was off balance with that and um okay so let me let me let me let me say a couple of things all right so we get there we get inside you know we get inside the concert and before we go to the Master P concert, all right, they had the um the little stage, then they had that big mountain stage. And before we went to the mount, before we went to the little stage, we went to the mountain stage. You know, that's why y'all see on my story, y'all was at that the um the big stage first before it was packed or anything like that. You know, we just sitting right there looking around, and, like it was kind of spooky because the whole time the stage, you know, like I know like how you know like Travis Scott got them beats. They go like dun dun dun. It was like a like a electric. And, like, the whole fest, the whole time, until literally the concert, it was playing, like, this music around that whole section. It was like... It was, like, it was scary. It was spooky. And they played that the whole time. It was, like, a vibration. Like, when y'all watch the live stream, y'all can hear it. It was, like, a vibration, like, some type of... Whatever beat it was, they played that the whole time, so that kind of spooked me. But I didn't really think nothing of it. I'm like, you know, like, why are they just playing this, you know, this song this whole time? Like, this beat this whole time, you know, like, that's what that was. So, we get to the Master P concert, you know what I'm saying? We up in the front, you know what I'm saying? He come out, everybody go crazy, everybody jam, like, oh yeah, this Master P, you know, let's show Master P some love, you know what I'm saying? It's been so long since, you know, he been in the game and performing so you know everybody go crazy they doing mosh pits you know what i'm saying we if y'all can see my video we was in the mosh pit you know what i'm saying like we was in the middle it wasn't bad it wasn't that many people it was kind of organized you know like they was making space for like the middle for like everybody to like run in and it was cool at first you know what i'm saying and what got me you know like master p he played that song looking back i didn't even peep game until i look back on my video of master p performing like if y'all watch that whole video on my channel you know master p he performed you know what i'm saying he did his thing, then, like, at the end of his performance, he played, like, you know, like a funeral song, and y'all can count a video. Oh, my dad played that at his funeral. Oh, this was a song with, um, some song, my brother little song, he died. Like, everybody was talking about, like, depth about the song, which, you know, he probably just performing, like, one of his, you know, songs about somebody who passed, you know, just to go out. But, um, I noticed, too, like, somebody had, like, a sign that said, like, will we survive, will he survive, and the other side said rage, you know. I seen some people pinpointed that. But what really spooked me is it wasn't until I got home to everything happened. But before Master P died and everybody who was there, I don't know if y'all got the video, but before he died, he was like, you know, shout out to everybody who died. You know, RP um, to the people I lost, you know, shout out to uh, my brother C. Murder, RPX. And before he left that stage, he said, y'all, try not to die tonight. He said, like, don't die tonight. Or was it try? Yeah, he said, don't die tonight, y'all. And he walked off stage. And looking back on it, it's like, wow, like. It was like we really went to our own funeral. We celebrated ourselves. 
And later on, people was really getting killed off and going to hell. Literally, with what it said, um, see you on the other side. People was really getting snatched up to that other side. That's why I say it was really wicked. It was demonic, and it was like you could really like when when Travis Scott when Travis Scott came out and started performing, you couldn't even see nothing. Like it was it was just so many people. And mind you, I'm sitting on the gate. You couldn't really see nothing. Everybody, you know, they was jamming to the music. But like when he came out, like the flames, like boom, like went up. Like you could feel that heat. Like mind you, it's already hot. People can't breathe, and you could feel that heat, literally on your skin and um that really spooked me it was like it was crazy you know that was my first concert that i always watch like on tv like the old astral fest and the travis scott concert so i always been like turned up to finally go but like when i went there i mean that shit was scary it was like nothing fun like doing the mess beat was kind of fun at first but like after he left out you know what i'm saying and stuff got tight i had to get up out of there but doing when Travis Scott came on set, like, at first, everybody in the crowd, it was all cool. You know, everybody, you know, still had space. But, like, once he came out, everybody came. The whole crowd started jumping. And I could see people just get closer, 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 closer. And next thing you know, help, help, ah, help me, help me. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. So, you know, I'm sitting high on the, high up on the barricade, and I'm just looking down. And I'm just, you know, trying to help people. But, I mean, it was only so much I could do. And then, after so long... I was just like, man, I got to get up out of here. So, you know, I jumped off and I left out. Mind you, while everybody's dying, while all those bodies was in VIP, the show was just going on. Like, like literally everybody around was, like, basically, like, possessed. Like, everybody was still, like, turning up. They turning up. And I'm looking down, like, man, it's, it's dead people everywhere. Like, y'all don't, like, y'all don't see this? Like, y'all don't see these bodies? Like, you would think people would go, like, ah, somebody dead. Y'all get out of here. Y'all Man, it was none of that, man. It was none of that. Everybody was just going ham, and it's just bodies all in VIP. People in VIP, they just chilling on the phone, watching the concert, chilling. Like, they ain't seen nothing. Literally. And, um, I seen a couple of people, too, talking about I was clout chasing. So, let me tell you about this. It was never about clout. It was never about going viral. The whole thing, like, literally... Before the news, before anybody knew, I left early. I hurried up and ran up out of there. And as soon as I ran out the stadium, as I'm running, you know, I'm telling people like, hey, you know, people dead. You know, people, they just looking at me crazy. Like, what you talking about? You know, I'm telling people, waiting in line of people, they kiss. I'm like, bro, it's dead bodies. So many dead bodies. Everybody, like, just, like, looking at me crazy. So I got in my car. And as soon as I get in my car, I go live. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the time, I had, like, 400 followers, you know. And I'm t talking to the people I know, you know, my little fan base that, you know, my little friends and everything. And I was telling them, like, you know, y'all, like, I experienced, like, some, like, real demonic, you know, some wicked, like, it wasn't right. People was dying. People are dead. And I was like, you know, like, if they have that concert tomorrow, I said, don't go. I said, your life will be at risk. You can possibly die. And I said, I don't I don't care what nobody say from what I seen. I said, this is going to be on the news, and it's going to hit. It's going to be everywhere. And then as soon as I went to bed, as soon as I wake up, my parents calling me like, you know, like, you know, you everywhere, whatever. I'm like, everywhere, like what? And they, and you know, I log in and I see like everybody, like, you know, like share the video, got the video around, which is a good thing. So it brought awareness, but you know, I was just telling like my close friends and people like, don't go. Cause I didn't know like if they was going to still have a concert. Nobody knew about it before I even left. I'm texting people on my phone. Like, man, it's dead bodies in here. People is there. You know, ain't nobody believing me. You know, I'm, I'm. I'm tripping. I'm going crazy telling everybody. And it, it was even people like I was on like in a group chat with, with in Snapchat and everything. I'm telling them, hey, y'all don't go. It's like, you know, like younger people. And I'm like, hey, y'all don't go. Don't go to you. Oh, now we going. We going to turn up. I said, bro, it's people in there dead, bro. They think it's a game. You know what I'm saying? They think it's funny, whatever. So I end up leaving a group chat. But like now today, I bet they know like, you know, like, dang, like he was, you know, telling the truth. And like even like the people like that was in the VIP section, I know some of them going to feel guilty. Like, that woman who was right there, and I was really trying to cry out and tell her, like, you know, like, please let these people over. She going to be like, dang, that little boy who was there trying to help people, them people was really in there dying. And I hope, I hope that uh, that hunt her for the rest of her life, bro. Because them people in VIP, they was really acting like they was just so rich. They was just so cool. They was just so famous. And they just didn't want nobody around them. They was being real disrespectful. 
it was um this one girl who was on the other side of the gate and she ended up um hitting my hand she ended up hitting my hand so then when she hit my hand you know i looked at her and she looked at me you know what i'm saying and she said um i'm sorry like you about the um bitch or something like she called me like a bitch like you bitch about the bitch so i looked at her i said what you know what I'm saying? Then her man right there, whatever. And then he said, like, chill. I'm like, well, why are these people like? <sighs> it was just like, everybody was just mad. Like, it was like nothing, like, it was just nothing positive about that concert. Like, you didn't feel the love. You didn't feel happy. Like, it was spooky. You just feel a lot of hate. You seen a lot of people tripping. And then once the nighttime came and Travis hit the stage, that shit was scary as fuck, so. Okay, um. Oh, okay, so. Before, um, I came to the, um, the main stage, it was something in my head telling me due to what happened at, um, when Master P came out, I was walking, you know, back over there after Lil Baby was performing and I was walking back to, you know, like, let me hurry up and get over here before it get too crowded. Like, something in my head was telling me. Something was like, you know, don't go in the middle of that crowd. You almost didn't make it. And I said, this is about to be 100,000 people plus in one spot. Some say, don't do it. Go over there. I went way to the gate to the VIP. And then once it was getting ready to start, the lights went off. I sat on side of the rail and I'm the only person sitting on the rail. So I seen... Like, everything, you know what I'm saying? I, I seen it all. So, um, that's what happened with that. And I, um, and after the day was over with, and, you know, yesterday when I got back home, I didn't go to sleep till, like, 5 o'clock. So, you know, I, you know, I'm chilling, thinking everything, you know, cool. Like, man, you know, I seen this, you know, I'm going to just sleep it off. But, like, I kid y'all not, bro. When I went to sleep last night and I closed my eyes and I was trying to go into a rest, you know, you know, like when you're starting to fade off. All I could hear was the Travis Scott concert going on, him singing the songs and people screaming for help. And, like, it went on until, like, I just blocked it out, faded out, and, you know, eventually fell asleep. Fell asleep. So, it, it really did, you know, it scared me. So, let, let me see. Um, oh, yeah. And, like, to all, like, the young people watching this right now, I just want to say one thing, like, you know, like, me personally, growing up, you know, I was real religious, you know, like with my, you know, great grandmothers and, you know, your grandpa and everything, you know, like we used to go to church. We used to, you know, like do right. But, you know, as I got older, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of personal things that I went through. You know, it was like a lot of things like I was being accused of. It was like, you know, like when you young, you get in trouble. Oh, you did this, you did that. And it was like a lot of things like, nah, I didn't do it. I took the blame for like a lot of stuff. So that ended me like getting like into it with, you know, like, some family members and we ended up falling off. So, you know, like, ever since that happened, like, you know, like, I really, like, stopped praying and, like, I was just, like, real, like, like, to be honest, like, I was, like, mad at God. Like, you know, like, why would you let this happen to me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Now, you know, everything happens for a reason, you know, but, like, I was, like, real mad and I was just, like, you know, like, my life is ruined, but, like I said, to cope with that, you know, I was seeing make music. That's where all that come from. And, like, you know, like I said, recently I was making, like, rock music, rage music, you know, like, going crazy. I'm feeling like I'm a rock star, you know, I'm got the name, like, oh, yeah, Diablo sent you, like, I'm about to go crazy, I'm about to, but, like, man, I'm telling y'all, to all the young people, it's not worth it, bro. Like, the lifestyle that we live, it's like, we are, we are, like, the young generation, we are filled with hate. Like, we don't love each other. Like, even, like, to, even, in, like, I'm not trying to, like, be on no, you know, like, y'all get what I'm saying, but, like, honestly, like, you can't, like, be in a relationship without people cheating. Everything is about, like, money, what somebody can do for you. It's, like, it's not genuine. So I would just say, you know, like, the young people, like, you know, like, I would say, you know, love people and love for real and truly, like, try to be as positive as you can because, like, honestly, a lot of people, to be honest, was living, not living right, you know, whether they was religious or not, you know, like, not living right. You know, like, probably, you know, wasn't treating someone right. Probably wasn't making their parents happy. Probably was unhappy who went to that concert yesterday and lost their lives. So, you know, you could just imagine the guilt that they probably felt. And you can only imagine, like, the guilt 
that their parents felt and like you know like you just don't want to go out like that like you want to live every day to the fullest and you want to try to be as positive and um after yesterday like i even told people like all that like that rock music like all that like i want to be like be, like like the biggest musician be like you like dang like he came out the mode like dang i can do it too like i can blow up but like after seeing that like i would never want to put like anybody life in dangerous and promote none of that because at the end of the day that's just like a lot of guilt that goes on you and like after seeing that i just um i would never want to put nobody in that position like i don't want to be famous i don't want to do music like i just want to live like a normal life do the right thing and you know like i don't know just do right and stop chasing like stop lusting over like money people be lusting over fame people be lusting over you know, like people just crave like like i just want to show off so bad i just want to pull up like in the fastest lamborghini i want to come like with the the most expensive gucci the most expensive but what people don't realize man when, when it's all said and done and it's over it's gonna be a big price you gotta pay whether y'all believe it or not bro like for real after yesterday bro i know for sure that it's either two sides bro you're gonna either be good or you're gonna be evil you're gonna do good or you're gonna be do bad you know what I'm saying? i know you know when you do good you fall up short but like I'm telling y'all, all these materialistic things in in the long run, it's just not worth it. And another another thing, um, I want to say, I will change the username. Another thing that I want to say, I I didn't change the username. I didn't change the username yet because due to the fact of the video blowing up and like people looking for like where to find me, so I didn't want to change it yet. Because if I change it, then they wouldn't like find me. So you know, like they've been clicking like on the hashtag and everything. So I will change it. And um. All of the people who was there yesterday who are missing people, like people who missing, like DM me and I will post it like on my story so like it can get around to see do they know where that person's at or did anybody see that person? Like just anything, like just DM me. So um, I'm going to um, add a couple of people and see what they need to ask. I'm looking for somebody specific. Hold up, y'all. My phone is glitching bad. And the water and the drinks was like um five dollars. And um a couple of the celebrities who was asking for my number was rappers, and I did not reply because I don't you know like I don't want nothing to do with nobody. Like I'm doing me. I don't know y'all. I, I don't care. I'm trying to ask some people, but I can't really. I might have to end it. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up, hold up. 